Hi everyone, Alan from Newlands Nursery. Hope you are well. Welcome to today's Five Minute Friday. And today we are taking cuttings from these scented geraniums or scented pelagoniums is the, the proper name, but in the UK we tend to refer to them as geraniums. Um, so these are taken through the winter in our greenhouse. So not kept ridiculously warm. Um, so room temperature, standard room temperature will be fine to take these through the winter. Um, and now is a good time to take some cuttings if you've got a space that you can protect them. Um, and again, that can be a conservatory, a heated greenhouse, or a heated conservatory, I should say, heated greenhouse, um, a nice light windowsill would be ideal. So I've got these two plants here. This variety is fragrance, which has got, as you can imagine, very fragrant leaves um, to it. Um, so I'm going to turn the plant slightly so you can see. So the way we're going to take the cutting um, is we're just going to cut the stem. So you don't need to worry too much. Some cuttings you need to be a little bit concerned about where you do it in reference to the node. Uh, but with, with uh, geraniums, pelagoniums, we don't need to worry too much. So I'm going to cut it off just like that. Nice sharp pair of scissors or a knife would be ideal. And if we hold that against my hand, you might be able to see. So then I'm going to take these, oh, going to take these leaves here off. Okay, so I'm just nip though between thumb and finger. Gives me a bit of a stem to poke into the compost. Okay, discard the leaves. Um, you can use a dipper, pencil, or something like that. I'm going to use the end of the scissors just to place that in the compost, just like that, and then we tuck it in. Okay, so that's how you take the cuttings. The compost I've got in here uh, is a standard multi-purpose compost that we use for a lot of our, our seeds and cuttings. Um, and it's absolutely ideal. And you can see there's elements of bark in there, so it helps with drainage, which is what we want for the majority of plants. The interesting thing about caring for these long-term um, is, short-term I should say, is that I'm not gonna cover these. We don't want too much humidity around the leaves and things like that. We still want the compost to be nice and damp, but not too much around the leaves. So if we come back in a little again, what we do is we've got a few plants is we just carry on working our way around the plant. So I'm going to just take the cuttings off just to show you okay, what we can do. And now I'm thinking about this plant as sort of the mother plant. Um, so I don't want to cut them too down this too much this time of year. So I'm going to leave this one. You can see at the back there. That one's a bit thin, a bit spindly, wants a bit more growth to it. I'm going to leave that one on, but more than happy to leave the plant like that. So I haven't taken too much off. Um, so don't worry about taking too much off this time of year. But equally, I've got three, four cuttings from each plant there. If we turn our attention to the one we took before, I was only able to get one off that one. So this one here, you can see as it comes out of the winter, this one here isn't really ready to take the cuttings from. Um, so it's as simple as that. Uh, nice and easy. These ones I'm just going to plant in the compost. Again, give them a nice good water. And for us, it's going to stay in our propagation greenhouse, which is nice and warm, around about 15 degrees. It'd be absolutely perfect. But for yourself, uh, a nice light windowsill or a conservatory would be ideal. If you've got any questions at all, obviously get in contact. We're here to help. See you soon.